All right, so here goes part two of the wheelchairs setting themselves on fire. <laughs> so, you know, in the first video, I just didn't have an answer for the question. Can wheelchairs, um, you know, spark and, and, and start a fire? Um, and I, I didn't have a, uh, an answer because we really need to look at the specific question or the specific problem. Um, however, uh, these are some things I've been able to research and, um, and make some comments on. So you can, you can prevent, is it preventable? Yes, it is preventable. <laughs> so here are some things that, that we can do. First of all, you need to know that your wheelchair is not a bomb. <laughs> it wasn't made that way. <laughs> and it's not a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because the company that creates these wheelchairs make sure that they are safe when they go out of the factory. So they go through a process of testing. Um, they have, you know, so they have to go through quality assurance and they're tested uh, way before they're sent out. So, um, so when they are sent out or sold, uh, they are they are safe unless something happens in transit that you got tipped over or something broke. But otherwise, um, they are very safe. So, so with that said, if if you have concerns, these are ways to prevent the wheelchair from from sparking and starting a fire. So the batteries, you know, needs to be in good condition. So. This is especially for those who get a uh, donated wheelchair or get you know, a secondhand wheelchair or scooter. Um, these are important things to consider because you know, it's like getting a car. You know, when you get that car, you wanna know the history of the car. So you wanna know, you know what's the life of this battery, how many miles does it have, all that kind of stuff. So, Almost the same thing for a power wheelchair. So you wanna make sure that the battery and when you get the wheelchair is in, in good condition. Um, the right battery in good condition. So the right battery for the right power wheelchair. So, uh, you know, there's all kinds of batteries for power wheelchairs. So you wanna make sure that the power wheelchair has the correct battery in it. Now, if it's coming out of the factory new, obviously it's gonna have the right battery. But if this is a second hand or it's being donated to you, you wanna make sure 100% that that power wheelchair has the correct battery in it. All right, um, charge it on a consistent schedule. So if you don't use that power wheelchair or scooter, you know, every day, and that's fine, then, then just, charge it maybe once a week or twice a week and that that's it you don't want to overcharge it um <coughs> if you use it every day you know it's like this is your lifeline you use it every day then charge it at night when you go to bed plug it in go to sleep in the morning when you wake up it'll be it'll be ready to go so and it needs to be consistent so that the battery stays healthy and lasts longer uh do not run batteries below 80%. So that's really important. So don't run the batteries all the way down to almost zero, <laughs> which <laughs> could be a possibility, but don't run it below 80%. So that's really critical because the battery can overheat. So that's, that's important. Uh, let me see here. We we're talking about chargers. Now I gotta talk about chargers. Um, you want to have the correct charger, not not a, you know, uh, an extra charger that you found somewhere, or just a, 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 a cheaper charger that you found on the internet. No, you want to be careful. You want to have the right charger for the right power wheelchair. So that's really important. Uh, I understand that uh, the chargers will have the same serial number as your power wheelchair so you can make sure that it matches and it's the right charger for your wheelchair. So you don't wanna get a, a generic one online because that one can overheat and start a fire for sure. 
uh, so to do, have your charger lay flat on either on the floor or on a table. You can have it face up where you see the, the lights. Usually chargers have little feet underneath them, so you want those feet down in, in the little light where you can see if it's charging uh, up right side up. And then when it starts blinking green, then you know it's completed its charge. Uh, plug it in directly to a wall. Do not plug it into extensions. Um, now, I, for a little bit, I had it in a, in a charger, but it was a big, heavy, uh, not a charger, um, a power strip. <laughs> That's what I had it plugged into. I had it plugged into a power strip, and it was a good heavy-duty power strip, but still that's little. Mm, you still want it to be plugged into a healthy plug in the wall, okay? So that's really important. No extension cords for sure. Um, and I, I understand that, you know, you need it closer to somewhere or you need it, you know, but then you want to use a heavy-duty power strip, a uh, healthy power strip. Uh, for it to be a little bit closer to where you need it. Uh, but for sure, no extension cords. Uh, keep the unit always dry. Um, you know, our, as I've said in other videos, our joystick is not waterproof. So y you gotta be careful with that. Make sure that that joystick apparatus is always dry. If you got caught in a downpour, um, when you get home, uh, dry the power wheelchair off as best you can. Make sure that no water leaked in to the motor area. If it is, you know, keep it open so it can dry. Um, so it's really critical for that power wheelchair to be dry, uh, especially don't plug it in when it's wet, obviously. Uh, but it, again, this is all common sense stuff that you can prevent fires. <laughs> As Smokey the Bear says, only you can prevent fires. <laughs> so the same thing with our wheelchairs. Only you can prevent a fire. <laughs> so <laughs> if you are mistreating your battery, if your power wheelchair is your only means of transportation, and boy, do you beat it up and all that kind of stuff, yeah, <laughs> there could be more of a risk of a fire because you're running the battery way too low and it's overheating. So <laughs> it's all kinds of simple stuff you can do. Um, so keep the unit dry. That's, that's really critical. I, I, I get it. Sometimes we're caught in a downpour or, you know, it started to snow and, you know, we really got almost caught there, and we, but we got back home. So you really want to make sure that it dries out and put a fan on it, whatever you think you need to do and make sure it dries out before you plug it in to charge it. <laughs> that, would be, that would be disastrous to plug it in to charge it when it's wet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so again, it's common sense things. You got to keep it healthy. The, batteries, it, the battery is the one issue and the charger. Those two things are what you need healthy. Okay. So, um, I'm hoping this makes sense, that this helps you, that anybody who's using a power strips try to figure out a different way to plug it in. Um, and, you know, if you have to purchase a power strip, you know, that's heavy duty and it's safe for you to plug it in, then, then do so, but don't use extension cords. <laughs> that, could be, that could be bad. So sometimes these fires, I if there are any, it's because of something we did uh, so that, that, that is not good for the power wheelchair or for the scooter. So if any, anyone else wants to jump in there with cautionary tales, with suggestions on how to prevent uh, a fire from your, your wheelchair sparking and, and starting a fire, uh, please jump in there. I know, Larry, you have a lot of experience, so you can definitely say what things not to do. <laughs> but I'm hoping this list helps. You know, so a battery in good condition, uh, the right battery for the right wheelchair, uh, the charger for the correct power wheelchair, 
charge in a consistent on a consistent schedule. Uh, do not run batteries down lower than 80%. Uh, have a charger lay flat, either on the floor or on a table. Uh, plug directly into the wall uh, and you know, don't use extension cords and keep the unit, the power wheelchair dry. So I, I think that is simple enough to, to help you prevent a fire <laughs> and, and feel comfortable that nothing's gonna happen. You know, again, you know, when the nurses, when I, when I brought my power wheelchair into this assistant living, they were adamant that they did not want my power wheelchair in my room because it was gonna explode, it was gonna, it was gonna start a fire, and oh my God, it was dangerous. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Why would a company create a power wheelchair or a scooter that is gonna just set things on fire? <laughs> Or blow up. <laughs> so, <laughs> said, You're out of your mind. <laughs> you need anxiety medication. I said, my power wheelchair is brand new. <laughs> it's not a bomb. <laughs> it's not. It, it was not created in a way that it was dangerous for the user. <laughs> so. <laughs> So it took me a little bit to convince them, but I said, no, my power wheelchair, I get into my room to get in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. so here I have it plugged in <laughs> directly to the wall. I have the power, the, the charger on the floor with the lights up so I can see them, so I can check and see if it's done charging. <laughs> but usually it is in the morning, so I just unplug it and hang it back up. I have the cord, you'll see it back there. It's hanging on the wall there, so it's not all wrinkled and there's no way I can run over it. <laughs> so it's right there, it's hanging right back there. So it's, it's nice and loose, it's not gonna get broken. The, the cord doesn't get broken. So I just make sure it's all safe. So, and, and that's the way I prevent fires. <laughs> Smokey the Bear is my friend. <laughs> So <laughs> I just want you to kind of look at that list or listen to the list. And um, I'm sure that, you know, it will, it'll <laughs> calm your anxiety. So um, if you're still worried, you know, contact the company, talk about your concerns and, and see how they, they respond and what kind of things uh, you can do to uh, ease your, your concern. And again, it, they're probably going to talk about the same list because <laughs> I looked it up. So in a couple of companies and a couple of different manuals. So it's a combination of different different manuals. So, uh, but look at yours, and it will probably say something similar to this video. And your power wheelchair might have you know some other good suggestions on how to keep the the battery and and the charger healthy. So, so nothing happens. All right, uh, that is this video for Wednesday and this uh, little uh, podcast. So take care, everyone. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments with me. And if you want to help the channel, feel free to like. That's the first thing. And then you share the video. And also, if you're going to hang around, you know, look at other videos and just pe be a part of our community, feel free to subscribe. That would be awesome. So if this video and other videos have helped you, go for it. Subscribe. <laughs> I won't complain. <laughs> so, and it's not dangerous and that won't set any fires for sure. <laughs> just make me happy. <laughs> All right. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>